was much destruction. There are many houses so badly damaged, many folks shouldn't live there, but they are living there because they say they have nowhere else to go. In Red Hook, here's Iowa News reporter Josh Heiniger. At Dry Dock Wine and Spirits, they tossed one back before tossing out their inventory. It's really, really hard. Hundreds of bottles of wine, some quite rare, but all undrinkable now. They're sealed, but they were um, floating around in the contaminated water. Um, we can't resell them. And so it went for the small business owners along Red Hook's up and coming Van Brunt Street, who spent the day taking stock. <laughs> Meantime, workers at Fairway Market forced to throw out $2 million worth of food contaminated when New York Harbor inundated the store and destroyed every piece of equipment in its path. It was unbelievable. It was, uh, I couldn't believe how high it went inside the city blocks. But perhaps no part of Red Hook was more vulnerable to Sandy than the pier, which juts into the harbor, home to a growing community of artists and creative businesses, and where David Banner makes his living building displays for storefronts. My first uh, thought was, how am I going to make it? Today we found him air drying every waterlogged invoice he could find. He rented a generator and managed to clean most of it up. And just four days after Sandy, he's already back in business. You know, and kind of brought everybody's spirit up. And also it gave people around us a little bit of hope. Like, oh yeah, this, you know, it can be done. I'm back with a live look here on Van Brunt Street. This section of Red Hook on a Friday night should be bright and booming. But as you can see, it's pitch black here. But the good news right now is that more than 200 volunteers have already signed up to help this community of young, first-time small business owners start from scratch. And we're live in the Red Hook section of Brooklyn tonight. Josh Oniger, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.